Hi, so this video is about how to customize your app, how to change its name, how to put your own icon and how to alter the theme. So for all of this, we need the Android manifest. So for that, we go to app, then we open manifests and we'll find this manifest XML. Double click it and open the manifest. So the manifest defines most of the uh, general functionalities of your uh, app, like the app name, the app icon, the launcher activity, etc. So uh, first we'll learn how to change the icon. So you can see round icon and you can see another one which is called Android icon. So these two define your icons. So uh, many display screens have a square icon and a uh, few of them have round icons. So you need to define both. If you see here uh, on my emulator, I have a square icon, but I'll change both of them nevertheless. So what we do is we first go to our file, wherever we have the file, copy your icon, go to resources, drawable, right click on drawable and paste it. Uh, yes, note one thing, uh, drawable doesn't take uh, uppercase character names, so you need to have all lowercase. Okay, so now I've set my file. Next, I need to change it here. I go to Android icon, I search for drawable. Just type drawable and there you will find my logo. I will do the same here. My logo. So I have set my icons. Now uh, Android label. This is what defines the name of your app that is being displayed. Right now uh, it's at strings, it, it's, it's saved in the strings file. So we go to strings and we see what's the exact app name. So the app name is Andromin Manifest. That's the initial name you save your file as. You can always change this. You can change it in the manifest right here and put your own name, say hello. But I would not recommend that because it's a better practice to use strings. So we'll go back to strings, define the app name. Hello app. I'll now refer this in my Android manifest. That will be add strings and app name. Okay, so now uh, if you see, this is the app, it's called Andromin manifest and when I open it, yeah, so I'll update the app. See, so it's called Hello app and let's go out and see what it looks like. Yes, this is Hello app and I've even put my logo. It's not manifest. This, so there's no manifest, I need to search for Hello app. Yeah, so see, uh, it has the logo which I put from here. That's my logo. That's my logo. Uh, that's what it put there. And, when I, and the app is called hello app which we defined here. Now in the app uh, you can see the stop bar. This is called the action bar. You must have noticed that a lot of apps don't have this. So what if you want to do this for your app? It's very easy. Uh, you just go back to your manifest. Go to the theme section. So the theme define this theme defines the theme for your entire project. So I can change this theme. I have a lot of options. Uh, I would search for no action bar because that's what I'm looking for. Uh, note that not all are, all of them work. You must look for theme.app compat. So I'll go for day night no action bar. So this will remove the action bar. I'll update my app. Uh, see, there is no action bar right now and the theme has changed. Now, uh, you must be noticing this part, this intent filter part. This defines the activity which is the opening activity. So right now, uh, there is only one activity which is our main activity. So I will just put some text into my main activity. Hello world activity 1 and I will create a new activity. Oops.
new activity mm, another empty activity i'll call this main two activity or maybe new my activity okay. as soon as you create this your uh, xml gets updated so go check your xml you'll be having another activity here yeah. see so your new activity has been created now when i run the app okay so yeah hello world activity one what if you want to go to the other activity as your launching activity say i'll call it activity two i'll give it some text uh, i'll say i'll write text so the text is on top make it a little bigger now uh, i'll go back to my manifest right here i'll copy this intent filter section cut it and put it inside your other activity that's here my activity now what happens is this will now become your launching activity see so we have the other activity as a launching activity so this is quite useful if you have multi activity apps and you could just keep changing your starting activity depending on your case so thanks for watching